Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to EU4 and the Sweden is not overpowered campaign. When last we left off, we went and dealt with some rebels, just kind of internalizing a skosh to get prepared for the things to come. Now, we did go ahead and pick up our third religious idea finally, because unfortunately our queen with idea cost reduction had to abdicate because of an event, otherwise we would have converted back to Catholicism. All right, Brandenburg is now Protestant. I just noticed that. Okay, he can't form Prussia, though. That's the thing. He's warned by Austria. Interesting. This is interesting. Hmm. I'm really hoping we can get this Ottoman alliance at some point. We're going to just continue to improve relations. You know, we'll pull back from the Ottomans for now. Make it 13 ducats a month, which is pretty spectacular. We can afford to upgrade the fleet for sure at this point. So let's go ahead and add. Uh, we have 12 galleys. Let's add one, two, three, four more. And then to top things off, we'll add, oh, excuse me, two more caravels up here. Considering that they're just going to go right there and sit there for a very long time. Well, I say a very long time. I don't know how long we'll leave them protecting trade there. Once we get a uh, majority share in Lubeck, we'll probably go ahead and move our trade node back here. We'd have to get our hands on Lubeck and Stettin and Hamburg. We'd have to get at least one more of the centers of trade. If we can get Lubeck proper, that would be spectacular. Uh, vassalization's not super... It's not going to work. What about Stad? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that's very interesting, actually. Very interesting indeed. We almost could get vassalization there. What about Bremen? I'm just curious to see if we can actually get any of these guys as a vassal. Because why not? So, Verden. Hmm, we could get you as a vassal. Unfortunately, you only own Dietmarken. I wish you owned your uh, home province of Stad still, as it's a pretty solid province. Ah, well, what can we do? Let's get things moving. Our truce is up with Denmark in 57. So as soon as that comes up, we are going to be attacking. We're going to take Trondelag for that sweet, sweet manpower. Probably take uh, Yumplen too for the borders. And then we're going to take the islands. We're going to take the pharaohs out here. And Iceland as well to give ourselves a bit of a head start for our colonial game, which we will be picking up at Admin Tech 14. Whenever we get there. I know I delayed that a bit by taking our next religious idea, but I wanted to get it while we could get it for 10% reduction. That was rather nice getting those two ideas while we did. So we only need one more idea to get our, our epic manpower recovery speed up and on the go. So let's check barracks, actually. We could build a barracks in Marienburg, and that's not a bad plan. I think we will. It's got nine manpower. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I like that quite a bit. So, discoveries are spreading. Unfortunately, they're not the ones we want. Spreading it down here. So, we have French Brazil and Castilian Brazil. Oh, France went uh, colonial, apparently. Yeah, they did early. Wow, that's interesting. What about Great Britain? Yeah, they've j they took exploration third. So we are going to be a bit behind as far as the colonial game goes, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Should be able to catch up. We're not going to do too much with the colonial game. It would be nice to get that uh, extra merchant up and on the go from having 10 cities in your colonial nation. So we'll probably work our way towards that. All right, the battle fleet is preparing, which is spectacular. Another four galleys coming up and two uh, barks very soon, which is good. We can almost take uh, Diplotech. Ooh, institution tech penalty is getting kind of unfortunate. So how are we here with the institution? We're getting close. I'm really tempted to actually drop some points into development right now. Since we do have this development cost reduction, that's exactly what we're going to do here. Um, this can go back to encourage development. We're going to just drop a few points of development into Stockholm real quick. Like one, two, three. 
All right, so how much would this get for printing press? Six? Okay. Oh, let's just develop all the way for it. There we go. All right, so printing press is now present in Stockholm. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and actually put that into the treasury for now. That will be very helpful, getting us a bit of a war chest together for the upcoming final war against Denmark and Norway. There's only four provinces left for them, so we're just going to straight up annex what's left. Which is unfortunate, because Brandenburg took a lot. Brandenburg's a pain. We're going to have to figure out how to deal with Brandenburg. One way or another, there's going to be a war there, and I'm really hoping we can get like Bohemia and the Ottomans to help us. Perhaps even Muscovy. If we can bury the hatchet with Muscovy, that would m possibly be a good idea, depending on how scary the uh, PLC becomes if it does form. So let's look at this. We could make a lot in Lubeck. Uh, no, let's just transfer in Novgorod. Bring these ships out to Schmaland to meet up with the rest of the battle fleet. All right, you didn't go. Get in there. All right, there we go. There's our battle fleet. Okay, so granted, a, or, uh, granted general ship has expired. Let's look through here. Uh, we could get this contribution since we've already done the development we planned on doing, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's a lot of, a lot of dough right there. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and throw down a few more buildings. Let's throw down the tax in. Let's throw down the church in Gotland. Uh, we'll throw down the... Mm, is it really worth it in Varmland? I don't think so. Farm Estate. Uh, we could throw that in Stockholm. It might be worth getting it here in Schmaland. Um, you know, I think we will, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll be fine. This is fish, however. Eh. We don't really need that many sailors. We have more than enough at this point. Should be more than enough for this campaign. How much more can we improve with uh, Bohemia? Quite a bit, actually. So there's a good chance he will unrival us and we'll be able to uh, find ourselves a rather solid ally there, hopefully. Hopefully. All right. So what is the plan right now? I think we are just back to waiting on institution spread at this point. So to that end, let's go ahead. Oh, we can't. Not yet. Oh, we are actually... When's the truce up? May. So let's go ahead and uh, unmothball these guys. Or undrill them, I should say. Just go down. Finish off Norway and uh, Denmark in this war. Kind of clean up the borders here, finally. Alright, so the truce comes up in May. Our morale will be good by then. Let's see about production. Uh, Marienburg, that would be a rather nice one to have. Do you have a naval manufactory? You don't. So I think we will build a naval supply manufactory here fairly quickly. This unrest is rather high, actually. It's crazy. All right. Wait for it. Oh, it's only January. So we got a little bit of time still. Let's look at these provinces. Pretty happy we managed to snag... At least four of them. If I, if we hadn't taken as much land uh, in the previous war with Denmark and Norway, we probably would have been able to get Warmia too, unfortunately. But, oh well, there's going to have to be some pretty major wars now, which I am fine with. Let's look at uh, Force Limit. We could start building up, but I think we will wait until this little subjugation war. Well, subjugation, this little conquest is over. Won't take too long, excuse me. All right, what are you doing, Brandenburg? You're at war with Magdeburg and Saxony. All right, there's our truces up, so we can go ahead and dow this war. We no longer need anyone's help to deal with this, which is pretty nice, actually. It took a little longer than I was hoping it would, but uh, should be fine. There we go. All right, that fort's going to fall pretty quickly. I think we will be able to annex everything in this war. Friesland appears to be coming up, uh, expecting to help. I think they're just going to get demolished. 
they're not coming to help. Oh, excellent. That is exactly what I was hoping for. It cost 100 Diplo, but we may have gained ourselves a rather good ally against Brandenburg, which we do need at this point. All right, so let's see. What's the plan with this? The siege is going to take a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and take the full navy up here to siege, or de-siege, I should say. Where are you guys going? You're just chilling, which is fine. All right, Ostiland is down. Uh, let's go beat down Friesland with one stack, and then we will just leave this stack up here to deal with Norway. So if we can beat down Friesland, we can get a butt ton of money, hopefully, because he's one of those, he's a Dutch miner, so he's going to make a lot of money. All right, so where are you guys going? You're going to Uker Mark. Are you locked in yet? No. Now you are. Goodbye. And then from there, you go to Friesland. Royal Marriage with Great Britain. Absolutely, we will pick that up. Just waiting on this fort now. Kind of annoying since it's a level 3 fort. Rather unfortunate. You don't have any siege, which sucks. Do we have a leader with siege? We do, but uh, Krenderman is down here doing some work against Friesland. Yeah, we don't really need anyone's help in this war once we take these, uh, ooh, Norwegian noble rebels. Interesting. Yeah, once we take these two uh, forts, that should be the war. Bye, Friesland. You're about to give me a bunch of money, buddy. And I will appreciate it. All right, so one stab or 50 prestige. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to take that prestige. Can't say no almost. That's 50 prestige. That's ridiculous. All right, so we're going to maintain our diplomat in Bohemia. And we can get the royal marriage here. Hmm. Hmm, now that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all, actually. I'll have a think about that between episodes. We're not going to do anything with it right now because I don't think he's going to pick up any more big allies. But we will definitely consider that. Maybe we'll look at that at the end of this war. All right, so Trondelag is being a pain as always. I hate that fort. Rather annoying to siege down. All right, so we can build this in Marienburg, and I think we will actually. I am perfectly okay with building that in Marienburg, as there's plenty of building slots here. We'll throw down a manufactory before too long. Oh, can we just finish either of these sieges without another disease outbreak? Please? Like, pretty please? Wait for it. Is it done? No. Oh, almost. Idea. We could take... No, we're not taking this. We need tech. We are taking tech. Even though our institution is spreading rather slowly, it's spreading a lot quicker now, so we should be able to embrace it before too much longer. Um, Yeah, we're absolutely going to hire this Italian engineer for that 40 mil power. Not even mad. We make a good bit of money. Yeah, right now it costs us 1100 to embrace. So we're going to wait. We're definitely going to wait on that. All right, Friesland is down. We're not taking Friesland. We're just merely going to piece them out once you guys are out of that province anyway. There we go. Nope, I reject your peace offer, sir. This is my peace offer. I'm not taking your land, but you are giving me all of your money, war apps, and transferring trade power. Thank you. Thanks for the money. That was a lot of money, too. Pretty happy about that. Oh, we're not even see we're not even helping be with the navy. That's smooth. Good job. I thought we were blockading. Damn. Oh well. Oh, there's another fort up here. Oh my god. So many forts. Oh, Krenderman, no. Rip. Rip indeed. Real quick, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the sub list. That is available to me on YouTube, and we're going to go ahead and name ourselves a new general. Alright, let's look at this. Alright. 
So, let's recruit our general, or do we wait? No, I think we do need another general. We have 46 tradition, so that's fine. No, he will not be Simon Ribbing. This general will be Mr. Campbell. All right, welcome, Mr. Campbell. Thank Oh, and you are a fantastic general. Well played, sir. Well played with that five fire. It's like you wanted to be a Swedish general or something. Well done, indeed. All right. Things are looking really good in this respect. We're going to have to... There we go. Finally, Trondelag is down. We're going to have to go siege Finnmark, which is kind of annoying. But we'll crush the Norwegian forces here real fast. They're not going to get away. Um, actually, go, go, we put our, ep go, Campbell, go, Mr. Campbell, kill them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There was a Norwegian stack there. That was cute. <laughs> All right, we are back above 20% army professionalism, which is nice. So we can go up here. Uh, I think that's where the port is on this one. Yeah, so we have to go up to the Lofoten Sea to blockade this. All right, well, apparently it's done, so what we're going to do is take this, this, this. Can we full annex in this war? Ooh, we can, I think. Huzzah! We can, oh, all but one. Now, how much of a coalition is this? That's not bad. That's not bad at all, so I think that is our peace deal. Maybe we don't take Finnmark and just leave that as Norway. Just leave that right there and come back for it later. You know, that's exactly what we'll do. And then we'll go ahead and take the pharaohs. The entirety of the pharaohs. Let's get some money out of this, too. All right, done. 287 admin to core, but... Ta-da! All ours, except for this, which we'll come back for at some point. All right. So, what is... Why can't... A, uh, province is under siege. Oh. Oh, we have rebels to deal with now. That's fine. That is no problem. Let's just get the fleet out here. We have pretty much complete control over our culture group, which is spectacular. Very nice. We are rolling in money, which is awesome. I love it. I love it a lot. So let's go ahead and build the production building on Finn, because that's a plus 0.13 increase. Marienburg is getting a marketplace. And for now, and as far as that goes, I think we'll hold off. So, we're going to go deal with these rebels. You are going to teleport to Holland at some point? I don't think you can. That's fine. We'll go take care of these separatists real fast. We'll actually split the army right here. Leave 10,000 here. Grab the rest of the... Okay, uh, what is this? Viborg. I know where it is, but I just want to double check. Uh, you make no trade, so we're going to give you goods produced from that event. All right, you guys, go take Shetland. And from Shetland, we're going to go to Ferrora. And from there, we're going to go to Iceland. All right, there we go. One down. Siege almost up. I think that was a rather productive little war. In a way, I'm kind of glad Brandenburg did take all this land because that allowed us to pretty much full annex these guys. Norway is just chilling. Um, I am going to... Let's see about this. I think we're just going to proclaim a guarantee. Yes. Yeah, we'll proclaim a guarantee so nobody gets any funny ideas. Sail you back to Trondelag, which needs to get some devastation gone, so the fort will stay up. All right, you guys, now go here. Shift consolidate. We can convert. Uh, no, we need to core Shetland first. That's fine. There we go. You guys can then now go land up there. We can core this. Excellent. This is coring already, which is good. We are going to have to convert all of this to Protestantism, which is no big deal. We'll wait one month for recovery. That was awful, but okay. I thought we were going to get all of our manpower back in the army, but that's fine. So we'll go take down this 7k Norwegian noble rebel stack. Diplomatic insult. That's fine. 
All right, we barely took any casualties there. Pretty nice. So this will be done, and we will get things coring, and Norway... Yeah. Yeah, you can just stay up there. It's fine. So bring the main force back to Bergslagen. There we go. That is done. This force can actually stay out here for the time being. If we look at this, our religious unity will be fine for the time being. Um... Hmm. Unmanly tactics. Um, I'm not going to sacrifice army tradition. I don't like losing army tradition in any way, shape, or form. So let's look at our rivals. Can we insult our rivals to get um power projection? Yes, we can. Fantastic. All right, one base tax in Ostergotland, one base production. Do we want the nobility to be pleased or... Ooh. Um, yeah, we'll go with the one base tax for now. That will hurt our income a little bit because we do make a lot of money on trade. That hurts our income a lot, actually. But I think that'll be okay. Uh, in fact, we can go ahead and give you guys this center of trade. Wait, it's not in a... No, it's not in a state. Damn, we don't have enough states. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's bring the navy back there. Now the Teutonic Separatists are going to rise up in Marienburg. Okay, we didn't discover anything up there, but we can now see the Caribbean and almost all the way around South America, which is nice, giving us a little bit of uh, knowledge about what we're looking forward to in the New World. You will not share maps because you're a colonizer. Err, I don't like it. I hate that modifier. It's so annoying. Those are like the, those are the people you want to share maps with you because they're the ones out exploring. Hey, look at that! We're fifth on the Great Power list again. How much development do we have ourselves? Five hundred and fifty. That's pretty solid, honestly. Can't complain about that too much at all. Now these cores will be done rather quickly, which is very nice, but. I think this is where we are going to be wrapping things up this time. So as always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you guys are enjoying the series still, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really helps the channel out. And remember to subscribe for more Paradox Grand Strategy content in the future. My name's Ori. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll catch you in the next one.